Well, let me tell you the scenario of the day. It is fall, November 6, 2021, and we have had very cold weather lately in the nights, and things have really cooled down. Now, this is Lake Max Cookie, and it's 51 degrees, 52 degrees across the lake. The channels we got under for a little bit, it's all 46. Man, what a super tough fall bite for both the largemouth and the smallmouth. We tried a whole host of other baits, Alabama rig, and jerk baits, and rattle traps. But what really came down to, not surprisingly, is Ned Rig. All of our fish, well, all except for two or three fish on the Alabama rig, fell for a Ned Rig. Or something. Yeah? Yeah, you Ned still? Feeling better? Yeah, it does feel much. Blind eel here. Is that a smolly? I can't believe you had not jumped him. He's a smolly. That's a nice fish. I think. Yeah, we'll keep in. Holy. Yes, sir, Steve. Nice job on the lid. Yeah? Yeah, it's a fish. I thought it was not very big. No. Pot. I'm feeling a little bit bigger. Oh, he jumped like a. That's a nice jump, I'll tell you that. Ned again? Yeah. Oh, he's got nice colors. He's a cutie, though. Fish on? That's a little bit. You got a cutie. Oh, Ned Rig, though. I told you I'd pull you up on a spot here, see you catch the fish. You're right. It's painful to fish one correctly because it's so slow. You cast it out there and you just let it. It's, it does this with that mushroom head. Good one. Skinny guy, I don't know. We're going to pull Steve. Threw him right on Pablo Pop. I've got a bite me tackle jackpot. I use these all the time. They're the best in business if you ask me because the thing I love about them, if you tear it off, pull it off, you're going to tear that bait because of that incredible sinker there. Uh, there are promo codes down below, by the way, by, for bite me tackle and 418 fishing and even mega work heel guard. There's the fishy on. Oh, he's a cutie though. Do me a favor. Look me up on Instagram and give me a follow. I need some more friends on Instagram. I'm getting a little lonely. My golly, it is a fish. Yeah. Oh, oh, Steve, that's thinking? not too bad, is it? Number four. The majority of the fish were around rock, or in particular where we found most of our success was pockets inside of weed beds. A combination of sand and a little bit of gravel is where we caught our fish. I got thumped, I got thumped hard. Now? Yes. Bump and then by the time I pulled in, it was gone. Yeah. Well, I got my drag off loose. I don't worry about the net. He's a large mouth, but he ain't gonna keep. You sure? Yeah, he ain't gonna keep. Just over the line. He's 14? Yeah. Are you serious? Mouth pretty hard. See it? I mean, Steve, when you're good, you're good. I guess I am good. Yeah, I think it'll be number five though, Steve. What's that blade bait in there? That came off your front deck when we was running across the Mine? Yeah. Okay. 
I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It was a tough bite all day long. Sounds like it was for everybody. I'm fishing a little bit, a little tournament, and it's going to be curious to see how we would have finished up in a tournament. We have five keepers, and but with dealers, we both lost. Pretty good one. Good one? Yeah. I say good. Right there. That's the one we need right there, Steve. Yeah. Oh, it's a largey. Big sucker. Big sucker. Jump off, baby. Don't oh, he broke me off. God. Oh, dang my it. gosh. Oh, my. Damn it. <laughs> and those were with the Ned Rig, too. So it's going to be curious to see this. Did we actually hook enough to keep us in contention of the tournament if we could have just landed? What bit for us? So you're out fishing in the fall right now, and you're finding it to be a tough bite. You're a natural lake, or actually any lake, or reservoir, or river. Ned Rig is an excellent option. Everything I use, all my tackle is listed down below, whether we're talking about our Yoders, Ned Rig, or the Bite Me Tackle, Jackpot, Rods, Reels, everything is listed below. Well, I didn't record it for you, but definitely some reassurance that we definitely did do the right thing to be very competitive. We only weighed our value fish, weighed seven and a half pounds. First place was 10.99 or 10.91, I believe it was. Big bass of the day was a 3.03 .03 pounder, and Steve's, we estimate, it was definitely uh, at least three and a half and then I lost a decent one too so we we had figured earlier that those two fish we would have caught them would have helped us by at least two and a half pounds which would have put us right at 10 pounds and third place again thanks for tuning in till next time we're going to see you on the water